Welcome back to our channel, Amazed. Today we are here to talk about weird foods around the world, culinary delights or nightmares. Food is a universal language that brings people together. However, what may seem normal in one country, may be considered peculiar in another. In this video, we'll delve into some of the world's weirdest foods, which can be found in different cultures worldwide. Buckle up and prepare to embark on a gastronomic journey of culinary delights and nightmares. We begin our adventure in the Philippines. Balat. Balat is a food item that is commonly eaten in the Philippines. It is a fertilized duck egg that has been boiled and is typically consumed as a snack or as a meal. The egg contains a partially developed embryo, which is often considered a delicacy by those who enjoy it. The process of making ballot involves allowing a fertilized duck egg to develop for a period of about 17 to 21 days. During this time, the egg is kept warm and incubated until the embryo is partially formed. The egg is then boiled, typically for around 20 minutes, and served hot. When the ballot is cracked open, it reveals a partially formed duck embryo, complete with feathers, a beak, and other features. The embryo is typically eaten along with the yolk and albumin, egg white, and is often seasoned with salt, vinegar, or other condiments. Balak is a popular snack food in the Philippines and is often sold by street vendors or in local markets. While it may seem unusual or unappetizing to those who are not accustomed to it, many people in the Philippines enjoy the taste and consider it to be a nutritious and satisfying meal. Next, let's move on to the next fantastic food. Haggis. Haggis is a traditional Scottish dish made from sheep's heart, liver, and lungs, mixed with oats and spices, and boiled inside a sheep's stomach. Although it may sound unappetizing to some, it is a beloved dish in Scotland and has become a symbol of Scottish culture. The preparation of haggis involves first cleaning and boiling the sheep's heart, liver, and lungs. These organs are then minced and mixed with oatmeal, suet, onions, and spices such as salt, pepper, and nutmeg. The mixture is then stuffed into the sheep's stomach, which is then tied up and boiled for several hours until the haggis is fully cooked. Haggis is often served with neeps and tatties, mashed turnips and potatoes, and a drizzle of whiskey sauce. It is a popular dish during Scottish celebrations, particularly on Burns Night, which is held on the 25th of January each year to celebrate the life and work of the famous Scottish poet, Robert Burns. Although haggis may not be to everyone's taste, it is considered to be a hearty and nutritious meal that has been enjoyed by the Scottish people for centuries. It has also become a cultural symbol of Scotland, and many people around the world have come to appreciate its unique flavor and history. Next, are you a cheese lover? Then you just might love kasu marzu or not. Kasu marzu is a type of cheese that originates from the island of Sardinia in Italy. What makes this cheese unique is that it is intentionally infested with live maggots of a specific type of fly known as the cheese fly. This may sound unappetizing to many people, but it is considered a delicacy in some parts of Sardinia. The process of making kasu marzu begins by leaving pecorino cheese, a hard sheep's milk cheese, out in the open air to attract the cheese fly. The fly then lays eggs in the cheese, and the hatching maggots burrow inside the cheese and start to eat the fat. This breakdown of the fat by the maggots results in a soft and pungent texture that is prized by those who enjoy the cheese. The maggots themselves are also eaten along with the cheese, as they are believed to add flavor to the cheese. However, it is important to note that eating kasu marzu can be dangerous, as the maggots can jump up to 15 centimeters 6 inches when disturbed, which can lead to injury to the eyes or respiratory system. For this reason, cheese is illegal in many countries, including the European Union. Despite the potential risks, kasu marzu remains a beloved delicacy in Sardinia, and some cheese enthusiasts travel from around the world to try it. Those who enjoy the cheese describe it as having a unique, intense flavor that is not found in any other type of cheese. Moving on to the next fascinating food, let's talk about Iceland's traditional food hakarl. Hakarl is a traditional dish from Iceland that is made from fermented shark meat. 
This dish is known for its unique preparation method, which involves burying the meat underground for several months to remove its toxic properties. To make hakarl, the meat of the Greenland shark is first cut into large pieces and buried in a shallow pit or hole in the ground. The meat is then left to ferment for several months, which helps to break down the toxic chemicals that are present in the flesh of the shark. After the fermentation process is complete, the meat is dug up and cut into small pieces, which are then hung up to dry for several months. The resulting meat has a pungent, ammonia-like smell and is often described as having a strong, salty flavor. Hakarl is a popular dish in Iceland and is often served as an appetizer or as part of a traditional Icelandic feast. It is typically accompanied by a shot of brennivin, a traditional Icelandic spirit, which is said to help neutralize the strong taste of the fermented shark meat. While hakarl may be an acquired taste for some, it is considered an important part of Icelandic culinary heritage and is often served to visitors as a way of sharing the unique cultural traditions of the country. If you have arachnophobia, then you might want to skip this next food on our list. Fried spiders are a popular snack in Cambodia, made from tarantulas that are marinated in garlic and salt and then deep fried until crispy. This unique dish may sound unusual to many people, but it has become a local delicacy and is often sold by street vendors in certain parts of Cambodia. The spiders used to make fried spiders are typically tarantulas that are found in the Cambodian countryside. They are first cleaned and then marinated in a mixture of garlic, salt, and sugar for several hours. After the marination process, the spiders are deep-fried until they are crispy and golden brown. The resulting snack is said to have a crunchy texture and a flavor that is similar to that of a cross between chicken and cod. Some people also describe the taste as being slightly nutty or earthy. Fried spiders have become a popular dish among both locals and tourists in Cambodia, and they are often served as a snack or appetizer. While they may not be to everyone's taste, they are considered an important part of Cambodian culinary culture and have become a symbol of the country's unique cuisine. The Mexican dish Eskimos is not for the faint of heart. Eskimos are a traditional Mexican dish that is made from ant larvae. While this may sound unappetizing to some, Eskimos are considered a delicacy in certain parts of Mexico, particularly in the central regions of the country. To make Eskimos, the larvae of the black ant species known as Lyometopum apiculatum are harvested from the roots of maguey and agave plants. The larvae are then cleaned and cooked with butter or oil and seasoned with garlic, onion, and spices. The resulting dish is said to have a flavor that is similar to that of cottage cheese, with a slightly nutty or buttery taste. The texture is also described as being similar to cottage cheese, with a soft and creamy consistency. Eskimos are often served as a filling for tacos, quesadillas, or omelets, or as a standalone dish with tortillas. They are a seasonal delicacy and are typically only available in the spring and summer months when the ant larvae are most abundant. While Eskimos may not be to everyone's taste, they are an important part of Mexican culinary heritage and have been enjoyed by locals for centuries. They are also gaining popularity among adventurous foodies who are interested in trying unique and unusual dishes from around the world. Last but not least let's talk about the traditional Ukrainian food salo. Salo is a traditional Ukrainian food that has been a staple in Ukrainian cuisine for centuries. It is essentially salt-cured pork fatback that is sliced thinly and consumed as a snack or used as an ingredient in various dishes. Salo is often considered a national treasure and is deeply ingrained in Ukrainian culture and traditions. The process of making salo involves curing the pork fatback with salt, garlic, and various herbs for several months. The cured fatback is then sliced thinly and served raw or cooked in various dishes. It is a high-fat food that is often consumed with bread, garlic, and pickles and is usually paired with alcoholic beverages, such as vodka or harilka. In Ukrainian culture, salo is often associated with hospitality and generosity. It is common for hosts to offer their guests a slice of salo as a sign of welcome and respect. Salo is also an important ingredient in many Ukrainian dishes, such as borscht and vareniki, dumplings. While salo is deeply ingrained in Ukrainian culture, it is not without controversy. 
Some people view it as an unhealthy food due to its high fat content, and there have been calls to reduce its consumption in recent years. However, for many Ukrainians, Salo remains an important cultural symbol that they are proud to share with the world. We've explored just a few of the world's weird and wonderful culinary delights and nightmares. Whether you're an adventurous eater or prefer to stick to the familiar, there's no denying the variety and uniqueness of these dishes. We hope you enjoyed this gastronomic journey, and who knows, you might even feel inspired to try one of these dishes. Thanks for watching. For more information, be sure to check out our website and subscribe to our channel for future updates.